Hi guys, welcome back. Hope everyone's okay. If you're new here, please do subscribe. I'm Vicky and today I've got for you a pretty little thing haul. So I can't wait to show you what I've got. So let's get started and into it. So first up, I have this. Let me just get it the right way around. It's a bit awkward to hold up because it's got such a big, um, like, slit in it. It's like a midi dress with this oval cutout in the middle. It's a really nice sage green colour. Um, it has like a slight, oops, ribbed effect, if you can see that. Um, and I got this in a size 10. So this is called the Shape Thick Thick Rib Cut Out Midi Dress. So I really like the look of this. Um, I love this colour to start with. I don't really have anything else in this colour, but it's such a nice colour. That would work for like winter and spring, summer. Um, okay, it might be a little cold with that belly cut out bit, but we can work with it, guys. It's fine. Um, and because it's shape, I'm hoping it'll kind of hug me in all the right places hold that mum tum in. It does feel like a really good like thick quality material. It feels really nice actually. So I'm excited to try that on. So I tried that on as you can see. Um, I did actually really like this dress more so than I thought I was going to. I feel like the cutout was really flattering. I did worry it might kind of show my tummy area. That's an area I really dislike. Obviously after four kids it's never going to be the best. Um, but the actual bit where it did cut out was wasn't the area that I don't like, it wasn't like my lower kind of around my belly, it was more um, higher up near my ribs, so I really liked that, I thought that was really flattering, I felt like the material did hug me in all the right places, it felt really thick, it wasn't see-through or anything and this will definitely be one, I think I will be getting lots of wear out, absolutely love that. So next up we have um, this little black crop top it's like a long sleeve crop top um with like a ruched together bit in the center and the middle so this is the black slinky ruched front long sleeved crop top why well, can i never read this <laughs> so yeah i got that in a size 10 you always like read word for word and it just it comes out like making no sense <laughs> let me try again black slinky ruched front long sleeve crop top <laughs> Still kind of okay. Let's just go with it, guys. Anyway, um, so yeah, it looks like this. Um, did I just say I got this in a ten as well? Uh, really like to look at this. I just want like a little crop top that you could dress up or down. It is kind of that like shiny material. Um, looks slightly see through, but it's kind of what you'd expect. Um, I do like it. I'm just worried about how high up this crop's going to come, but I will try it on and see. So I tried this on and yeah, I actually quite like it. Um, it didn't expose as much as I was like, much tummy as I was thinking of. And I'd probably team this with like a high waisted skirt for a night out with some um, heels or like daytime or like casual wise. I'd probably team it with some high waisted jeans anyway. So you're not really gonna be seeing too much of my belly. So I think when you've got something so high waisted, you can get away with like little crop tops like this. So I think this will be really cute because it has like the long sleeves for winter. That should a big chunky cardigan over the top, some boots, high waisted jeans, you'll be good to go. So yeah, really like that too. So my next item I have is this logoed t-shirt dress. Now I got this in a size, I think it's oversized, it is in a size 10. Um, so it has the pretty little thing, like, um, it's not really a logo is it, but it's got like pretty little thing on, like a graphic in the black, white and grey. And it is just literally what it says, like a longer t-shirt. So I thought this would be good just for keeping it casual. Do you know when you just want them like, like quick outfits, like maybe you got the school run to do, um, you got somewhere quick to be, but you still want to look kind of a bit stylish. So something like this, teamed with some black skinny jeans, some black leggings even, and just a pair of trainers um, or a pair of boots. That would just be a really quick outfit for when you're rushing and can't really be bothered to think your outfit through. So I hope I like this, but let's find out. 
So I did like the t-shirt dress, don't get me wrong, it's nothing really special but I knew that already when I was ordering it, like I said it was just going to be one of them basic casual pieces, so I am happy with it, I can't complain about it, it feels like a nice material, I think it, it fitted fine and it was true to size, so I am happy with that, I would recommend it if anyone just wants a quick outfit, you could even team with like thick tights and use it like the t-shirt dress how it's meant to be <laughs> so my next piece i have for you is this one shoulder black dress i think this is by the shape range as well so yeah it's a shape black one shoulder split bodycon dress i really like the look of this and um it was a bit more of a different material than i imagined i thought it would be more like ribbed and thick but it's more that like silky kind of material. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not it's not really see-through, so that's not a problem. I do really like the one sleeve and the like one shoulder detail. I think that's always like a really flattering look. This would be the perfect little black dress for like Christmas parties and things. So let's find out what I think about it. So I tried this on, and one thing I didn't realise when I first opened it and looked at it is. Well, I shouldn't know because it's got a split in its name, but it does have this split at the side. But I didn't think the split would be quite so extreme. Like, the split was coming so high up my hip that you could practically see my underwear, which, as a mother of four, is not really the look I'm going for at present. So, <laughs> I don't think this will be something I'm keeping. On top of that, the split so high up my leg wasn't really flattering for me. Um... So sadly this won't be one I'll be keeping, but if it wasn't for that split, I'd have just liked that probably just as a bliss, basic sorry, little black dress to have. But that's not really nothing to do with the quality or pretty little thing, that's my fault for not really looking at the pictures better. Um, obviously depending on your height, that dress may fit you different to how it fits me, so that split may be a bit more forgiving than it was on me. <laughs> So next up, just a little basic crop top. And so it's just this little pink one. These are really cheap. I thought they're so quick and easy just to throw like a pair of joggers, just to throw the pair of jeans even, just for when you're chilling in the house. Now, it's not really a summer colour. This, I mean, a wintry colour. This pink is more of a summery colour. But I got it anyway, just because I don't really have many colours. I'm more of like a grain of black person. So I thought, why not add a little bit of colour, a splash of colour to some black joggers I think this would look really nice. I have some pink Air Force Ones that I got a few Christmases ago. So I think those teams with a pair of black joggers and this would look really nice just for a little outfit. So I tried it on and just as I thought, yeah, it was just, it literally just fitted as I thought. Don't get me wrong, like it's, it is a bit on the thin side, but for the price you really can't go wrong. Um, I'm sure it'll it'll last quite a bit. Like the quality doesn't feel terrible or anything like that. It is just slightly see-through. So moving on, I've got these pretty little thing black leggings. So they're just plain black leggings. And then they have the pretty little thing down the leg at this side. So I got these in a size 10 as well. So yeah, black and white logo, pretty little thing legging. Now, even looking at them, they do look like you can see my face through them. Like they are looking quite see-through. Um, and I really hate leggings that are see-through. Um, like ugh, it just it's just never flattering is it but if you're going to tear them with like something really long I guess it doesn't matter as much and I do like this pretty little thing lettering down the side so I'm going to give them a go I'm going to go in open minded and see what I think so I, well, it's such a hit and miss with this because I still really do like that logo I just really wish that they were thicker and I feel like they weren't really flattering. I know leggings are not really the most flattering item, but you get some that kind of like suck you in and kind of do flatter you. But I feel this waistband just digged in on my tummy area, probably made it like, I don't know, what's the word, like made it stand out a bit. Um, didn't really fit that comfortably to be like properly high waisted. They just weren't very flattering, but I can't like blame that on Pretty Little Thing. <laughs> can't blame Pretty Little Thing for me having a mum tum, can I? <laughs> Um, otherwise, the only other issue I had when I tried them on was this lettering in the in the beginning of the Pretty Little Thing logo. So the P, the R and the E and the T, actually, the Pret, <laughs> has already started to crack a little bit. Like, it's already like, do you know, like, not coming away, but like, 
getting wrinkled. So I'm sorry, but I think one season, I don't know if this is a, just a one-off or if all of them are going to be the, like this, but I just think the quality of that lettering is really poor. And I think once they'd been in the wash and even the tumble dryer, that lettering is just going to be all wrinkled and horrible and just, and just going to look crap. Um, so I really do like these. Sorry, pretty little thing. Um, I really do like the style of these. Just that logo down the leg just needs uh, working on. So now I've got a really nice dress here for you actually. Um, so I thought this is actually really Christmassy. One that you could wear to those Christmas parties. Um, and it is this one. So it's like a silky little slip dress. It's um, a wine colour. I'm not sure the official colour of this. Oh, petite burgundy satin strappy straight neck bodycon dress. Got this in a size 10. Um, it's a bit free, so if you're going to order this, um, you're going to need to iron it before you wear it anywhere. Um, and it does have adjustable straps, which I do love. Love an adjustable strap round here. Um, and yeah, I, I quite like this. I think it just looks really Christmassy and really cute. So let me go try this on. So I tried this on and I do like the style of the dress and I do really like the silky material, the colour, everything's so pretty. Um, it just didn't really fit me properly on the top half. Not sure why, but it was quite like gaping and just not very flattering on me. Don't know why. Maybe I need some some lift up there. <laughs> like some bigger boobies or something like that. But it just wasn't working for me, sadly. Um, but again, that's nothing to do with Pretty Little Thing. Um, so otherwise, I'd definitely give this dress a go because... It's really pretty. Like I said, I really do like it. So Christmas party, definitely. So now I have for you a uh, shape again, but this is a top this time. So it's a stone zip front crop top in a size 10. So I really like to look at this on the model, but I was expecting it to be more really like thick and structured. Um, it doesn't feel overly thin, don't get me wrong, but it, it's, it's not like see-through thin, but it's quite like a thin t-shirt material, where I thought it was going to be like a thicker, heavier material, but the logo print looks really pretty, and it's got the zip up, so obviously you can have it like high neck zipped up, or it can come down to show a bit of like your neck area, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to trying this on. So I'm again in two minds about this one because I do like it. Like I can't really like fall. There's nothing wrong with it. Just the bottom of it, I just thought it would hug me more where it feels like quite like baggy and open. Like, and with this being shape, I expect it to kind of be more figure hugging. But I did get a size 10. Maybe I should have got a size 8 and that would have fitted that. Um, and yeah, although it's not the thicker material I was expecting, it still is a nice top. Um, you could wear this with some black jeans just for a really casual look. I love like logo prints like this. Um, I think Pretty Little Thing actually do a, a black jumper with like the white Pretty Little Thing on in the same style. I saw someone do that on YouTube, I can't remember who it was, but that looks like a really nice jumper. I actually really want to try and hunt that down actually. Um, so yeah, I do really like this. I do think just for casual wear, like I said, jeans, joggers, I think it would just be a really cute little top. Now, last up for you, I have something glamorous. <laughs> it's a royal blue lace hook and eye long corset top. Now, I don't really know where I was going with this. I just absolutely love this blue colour. And I, like I said, I don't really know where I was going with it. I just liked it and it kind of like fell into my basket. And here we are now. So, it's this one here. So, it fastens up at the front. Um... I do like little tops like this. I think they can be really pretty on a night out. Like if you wear them like a pair of jeans. These can be like, oh, when people say like a nice top and jeans. This can be a nice top that you can wear with your jeans. Even though like most of us are probably not going to be going out over Christmas. But still, nice look glamorous. So I'm going to get that on and see what I think. So I tried this on and my only problem was it was quite uncomfortable and this like area that's meant to be like the boob area, like don't get me wrong, like I don't have the biggest boobs or anything, um, but it kept riding up so my boob kept coming like under this bit so I kept having like accidental under boob when the cup 
was meant to cover the boob but wasn't doing its job just because it kept riding up um i don't feel like it fitted me particularly well and i wasn't the biggest fan of it on me again it's a nice lace material i do think it's a nice top um and maybe for like slightly smaller chested girls it would work but for anyone with a bit of boob i think it's just going to keep riding up maybe maybe that was a problem um but i do really like this detail on the front like how it shuts together so it's a shame about that but and the colour's so pretty too but you win some you lose some that like i said still that's no reflection of pretty little thing it's just me personally that it didn't work for so guys that's the end of my pretty little thing haul all done so i hope you enjoyed it if anyone has any recommendations of things i've brought in pretty little thing lately um tell me what your favorite items were if you have any questions about any of the items i should um i will do my best to help you i will link everything in the description please don't forget to like this video subscribe go follow me on instagram and all that and i will be back soon have a great day and bye for now.